If you suspect that you have a faulty thermostat and you don't have a multimeter to test it out, the best way to do so is to bypass the thermostat. This is a very easy process and very safe, so you can do it all by yourself. Pay attention to each step and you'll get it done in just under 7 minutes. So first, cut off the power. Most heating and cooling systems are powered by 240 volt breakers, so it's important that you turn it off before starting anything. Some systems might have a furnace, blower or an air conditioner, but all of them have a breaker in their electrical panel that you can easily shut off. Step 2. Remove the cover plate. Use a screwdriver to remove a cover plate by twisting slightly to pop off the face plate. Then you'll have to remove the mountain screws that are responsible for protecting sensors. Once you've done it, you just have to remove the sensor and expose the thermostat wires. Step 3. Check the wires. You should check the wires for color code. We have explained every single color code that thermostat has in another video which we'll link in the description below. If you have a 5 wire thermostat, the terminals will be stamped with letters C, G, Y, W and R. Let's break down each color and what it does. C means common and the color is usually blue or black depending on the model of your thermostat. G is green and the job of this wire is to control the blower motor. Y is the yellow and controls the cooling system. W stands for white and is only made for heating systems and R is the red and it supplies the power to the thermostat. If you want more details, do check the video we linked in the description below. Step 4. Choose the wire. First, you'll use the red wire to supply power directly to one of the other wires, except for the common wire which is blue or black. You should never touch the red wire and common wire together. This is very very important to note. In my opinion, you should start with the green wire as it controls the blower which you can hear if it's running or not. However, if you have a free wire thermostat, always go with the white wire first. Step 5. Twist the wires. Now that you've chosen the wires, you'll combine it with the R wire, twist them both and turn the breaker on. If you choose the green wire, as I always recommend you do, you should hear the blower starting as soon as you flip the breaker. If you choose the yellow or white wire, you should hear either the furnace or the air conditioning system starting. You'll have to repeat the same procedure for each wire except the common blue or black wire. This is done because if the blower or an air conditioner unit doesn't start, you know exactly which component is faulty. And if you find any issues you don't know how to handle, we do have a form in the description below which you can fill and get some local contractor offers. Step 6. Finish the test. Untwist the wires and align them in their starting position. If you don't have a thermostat yet, just make sure to separate the wires. Put the cover plate again and make sure you've returned the thermostat to how it looked before. And that's it, congratulations, you've just saved yourself a couple bucks. We also have a free cheat sheet with 28 tricks that can help you save on your electricity, heating or cooling bill each month. Go to link in the description to download it.